what does he say? He says the cream shall rise. <clears throat> the cream shall rise. Yes, and the cream shall rise. <laughs> This is the Schmo with the pro with the number four pound for pound fighter of the world, the Bantamweight champion, the Venezuelan vixen, Juliana Pena in the flesh, Dallas, Texas. How we doing? Good. How are you? The Schmo can't complain. What's the deal with these glasses, though? You're dressing like the Schmo and you're not talking like the Schmo. No, it's a compliment. I just wanted to look like you and I also wanted to outdo you a bit. These are Tom Ford's and I think that maybe you should. It's time to upgrade, Schmo. We can't be advertising a competitor. They got to pay the money. You know what it's like. Pay the money. (laughs) That's true. That's very true. Now talk to the Schmo for a second. We're going to get to WrestleMania in just one moment here, but let's talk about you. Let's talk about you just finishing up filming for The Ultimate Fighter. How was that for you? It was awesome. It was an experience that I've always wanted to do. I checked it off the bucket list, and I'm happy that I got the opportunity to, to finally coach on the show. It was, uh, it was quite the experience. What did you learn from your opponent, Amanda Nunes, that you didn't know before? Ooh, I, I would say that she's a little bit more high maintenance than I had originally anticipated. That's for sure. How so? Well, you're just going to have to tune into the show and find out. No, she's not giving the schmo any secrets. But when you did film with her, because obviously you beat her, you finished her, something that she's not accustomed to, do you think she lost a little lust, a little pep in her step that you noticed? Because you were seeing her, what, three, four weeks straight? Yeah, it was uh, five weeks. And yeah, I would definitely say that there's a, there's a little bit of like a sad bravado about her that I think that she's really wanting to come back um, and, and get her belt back. And so we had some words. We had some choice words. You're going to have to watch the show. But uh, yeah, not going to happen. We'll definitely tune in for that. But what about a fight day? Do you know when you two are going to be dancing again? No, I heard something about July 30th. And then like a few days ago, they said that they didn't have a date nailed down. So there's no date set right now. Well, you're the pride of Chicago. What's been the most rewarding part about having that gold strap and going on a parade? Uh, I haven't had the parade, Chicago. I would love to, to be in one at some point. But, um, no, it's it's great. I, I get recognized a little bit more, and I definitely think that when you're you know flying with the UFC, you fly first class, and I could get used to that. Certainly is. Now, you're the Bantamweight champion, but there's no rankings in the featherweight division. Amanda Nunes, she's got the featherweight strap. Why do they still have that division in the UFC? Well, let's talk about this for a second. So, Holly and Jermaine both said that they're not going back to featherweight at 145, and they are going to stay at true bantamweights at 135. Megan Anderson retired. Felicia Spencer retired. Can you name anybody else in the division other than Amanda? She's a champ in the 45 division of who? Well, they haven't had any rankings in years. The Schmo's been saying that. What the hell is going on with this division? Yeah, so, I mean, she says that she's still, you know, the champ of a division of one person, so that's nice. But would you fight for the 145-pound weight division? Would you fight to get that gold strap against the same opponent, Amanda Nunes? I think I've said many times, I'll fight whoever they want me to fight as long as I'm getting paid. I'll fight the Hulk if you pay me. I'll, I'll fight you if they pay me. I don't care. I don't know if they got enough money in the bank account for that. You know how it goes. But we're here for WrestleMania. 38. Yeah. What are you soaking in over here? Why are you over here, by the way? Yeah, so uh, I met Ric Flair, and uh, he's a personal friend. He invited me out. He wanted me to come support his daughter, Charlotte, and I wanted to see her and see what she does and, and kick Ronda's booty. Yeah, she's got a big fight against, uh, uh, can I call it a fight? A big wrestling match against Ronda Rousey. Obviously, we know what she did for the Bantamweight division, all females in the UFC. Maybe someone that you've wanted to dance with at a time or two, huh? Well, they always ask me who's my dream matchup, and and Ronda's definitely it for me. I would love that fight. I was calling for it after I won the Ultimate Fighter. I was calling for it after I won a few times after winning the Ultimate Fighter. I mean, it's a dream matchup for me, and I would love to welcome her back into the division. This is a call out right here. Is that why you're here? You're here to make sure that she fights you after wrestling with Charlotte Flair? Woo! <laughs> I'm excited. I mean, I'm super excited. I Obviously, they already know what's going to happen and who's going to win, but I mean, I think it would be awesome for Charlotte to uh, maybe even beat her father's record and, and, and be a champion, you know, over 16 times. I think that would be incredible for Charlotte. Yeah, but what about you and Ronda Rousey? How are you going to call her back into the UFC well, and fight you? When Charlotte, if Charlotte defends her title and she beats Ronda, I it's just here to pour a little salt on the wound and say, hey, Rhonda, come back to this side, you know, come back to the MMA, come back to the real world, you know, come back to where you made it all happen and, and where you got the division started. Is that your best sell right there? Come on, this is the wrestling world. Sell it to the fans. We want Rhonda Rousey and the Venezuelan Vixen. I want you, Rhonda. I want to fight you. Come back to the UFC and fight me.
Certainly, there it is. Now, when you look at the top females, we're talking get rid of the divisions for a second. Who is the best female right now in mixed martial arts? If we could take your name out of the hat for just one second. Uh, Valentina Shevchenko, absolutely. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Valentina's a star. She's awesome. She's a great fighter. All right. Will we hear Ann still with Rose Namanunez fighting Carla Esparza? Uh, that's, a, that's a great match. I, I can't say. I'm excited for that and uh, made the best woman win. Absolutely. That's going to be an exciting fight. Fans win. Fans win. She loves making her predictions. Can we get a final message for all the Venezuelan Vixen fans out there worldwide? Uh, thank you for supporting me. Please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Venezuelan Vixen. Thank you for the time, Schmo. And uh, I love you guys. I can't wait to defend that belt for y'all. We got to get you a Schmo pair of glasses. We can't <laughs> stare at those Tom Fords. She's the pro. I'm the Schmo. Dallas, Texas, WrestleMania 38 week. We're out. Uh-huh.